Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, we're gonna do something different as we usually do. Today, the topic gonna be uh, about the uh, HDMI uh, capture card. 3.0 by the way, it's not the 2.0. Because I searched on the net and I actually find, found this this year. As I said, the HDMI capture card. So it has no brand, only HDMI capture card. And uh, it's a 3.0 because on all YouTube, what I saw is that they actually only reviewed the 2.0 and that they say it captures in 1080p, 30 FPS, but everyone, everyone complains that it doesn't catch 60 FPS. And let me tell you something, I've been using it now for a week and holy shit, I'm mind blown. Why should you buy, why would you, why would you buy a $130 capture card from Elgato? If you can buy this for only $30 and the only thing is we will find out in this video why would you buy it why not and why if I would recommend it or not I'm obviously a streamer I stream on Twitch guys as I games come and check me out and I do content creation so you might see from this video while you previously obviously watching on YouTube right now and so we're gonna do an unboxing here I just gonna go straight to the point here not uh, like drag the video 100 years so that's how it looks like bam the side because i know there's some nerds they love that shit and a little bit here and by the way guys right now i'm catching with my uh, elgato hd 60 s uh, because i do stream my gameplay obviously so let's as i said let's get it straight to the point this is the this is the package nothing in it only thing that you're going to get is the instruction manual right here on the back chinese or japanese guys correct me if i'm wrong and this is actually the capture card here and it comes in silver guys metal silver that i find really cool and nice and from behind there's as well some info i'm gonna read it for you and let you know what it is so it says uh, it's in Swedish, so you're not going to really understand what it is, but it's all kind of uh, information and uh, batch number and all that. Well, it's from China. Let's go straight to the uh, instruction manual here. Let me tell you what you need to know, the important things. I think this is the most important thing to know about this thing is the port input max resolution 4K. So I don't have any 4K uh, screen right now, so I cannot prove that. I can. 100% tell you that it supports 1080p 60 fps and that's what you need, actually need to stream or if you want to cast camera real DSLR I think it's called I have this I have the Sony A5100 anyway anyways supports input max resolution 4k supports output max resolution 1080p supports 8 10 and 12 bit deep color supports RVG 10 is head my standard cable input up to 50 meters 1080p and below resolution as well. I do uh, confirm that. But we will. But, but I'm gonna connect it on my PC, and I'm gonna show actually the difference between what you're seeing right now. That I'm catching with the HDMI, uh, the Elgato uh, 60 plus, and with when I kind of capture my camera actually with this, with this little guy that costs only thirty dollars, and and the difference between $130 for the Elgato capture, uh, you know, capture card, the little one. It looks almost like this. Anyway, uh, supports most uh, uh, execution software such as VLC, OBS, MC Cap, and etc. Support Windows, Android, and Mac OS. Confirm to USB video, interview VC standard, confirm to USB audio, blah, 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 and all the other stuff. Specifications. Let's go straight to specifications here. Uh, it says how my resolution max input can be 4K. So, all right, must be true. That's really good and impressive. Uh, note, computer hardware configuration, configuration requirements, CPU, PC, i5, at least you need the i5 3400 or above. And you need NB, but I don't know what NB means, but i7 3500. 37U, 2 GHz or above, graphic cards, PC, NVIDIA, GT, 630, I think everybody has a high graphic card in this, and uh, NVIDIA GT, 735 or above, run memory, 4 GB of RAM, but of course I think everybody that's 
actually gonna stream and whatnot should have um, at least 16 or 8 um, but with all all that unboxing and out of the way I think we're gonna hop straight to my desktop and I'm gonna switch actually uh, this thing and connect it with uh, L uh, OBS I do OBS I use OBS and we're gonna see what's actually literally support I told you I confirmed everything but I'm gonna show you the comparison between this what you see already now on the Elgato side of things and I'm gonna show you now the yeah there we go the HDMI video capture that cost $30 and the 60s costs around two, $200 actually anyways let's switch all right guys I connected now the um, HD HDMI uh, capture card 3.01 and uh, we're gonna go straight to my OBS studio. All right. I did make a new scene here. I did just put the microphone, but I silenced it because I captured with the shadow play. So we're gonna add now a video capture device. You're just gonna name it uh, DMI. Okay card just like that okay and look at that it appears actually directly automatically and it's called USB video and there you see game capture HD 60s this is my Elgato one but this, this is the same like it's the it's it's like the you know the, the little one that Elgato has it's called uh, I think stream key is it that I don't know anyways we have here USB now let's change default to custom. Let's choose the resolution. All right, it supports from 640 to 1080p. I'm gonna choose 1080p here. And the FPS, as I told you guys, 60. Video format, just keep it as it is. Seven, full, okay. And hold up, let me do that. But can I resize it a little bit? There you go. So you can actually see I'm actually recording it. All right, now I can see my screen on, I can see my camera screen because I have to, it has a flip off screen and I can see my myself. Let me actually do it bigger. So now is that, is that delay? Yes. There's literally a, a delay a little bit like if, like, let me tell you something. If you're going to stream, right? And you're going to use this capture card for, for your, for your camera that I use, this is why I, I buy it. You're just, just going to sit like that. And you're not going to like move a lot. And if you move, you're just going to move a little bit, like, like Maybe with your head, maybe with your arms, maybe with your chair. Like if you're typing, nobody can see that. So it doesn't matter. But all in all, it works just fine. Now, the colors looking good. I didn't uh, do any any filters on it or something like that. Why would I recommend it? Yes. Does it matter because it's, it has a little bit of delay, some milliseconds? I don't think so. And uh, yeah, I think with that all said, guys, you should probably go and get this. Get this. I'm not. I'm not sponsored by it or anything like that. So it's my own thing. I buy it for myself, and it's probably worth it to buy it. As you might can see uh, from yourself, nice colors. Does the job. Didn't give up on me or anything. It didn't heat up or something like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give me a like and uh, subscribe to this channel. And with that all said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. Embrace, keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming, and I'll bring out of here. Peace.